Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you my very favorite cinnamon roll recipe. It's very easy and so delicious. So let's get started. First off, we need to activate our yeast. So we're gonna add to our bowl some yeast, some sugar, and a bit of salt. Toss that around till it's all combined and put it aside for now. Next off, let's warm our milk. So in a saucepan, we will add our milk and our butter. Our butter does not need to melt and let's make sure our milk gets only to a little warm and then lukewarm, not too hot. If it's too hot, we will kill our yeast and our bread will not rise. Now that our milk and butter mixture is warm, we can add it to your yeast and then mix it up a little. Then we're gonna add some of our flour. We're gonna start with two cups. And let's mix that up. Now that our flour is combined, we can add our two eggs. Mix them very well and then add some more flour. When your dough gets too thick and you've added enough flour, then go ahead and use a spatula instead of a whisk. It'll be much easier. So now you wanna incorporate all your flour into your mixture. Now that your flour is all incorporated, you can put your dough onto your workspace and start kneading. If you have a stand mixer, go ahead and use that. But if you only have your two hands, that's all right. Just knead it for about eight to 10 minutes until your dough is not too sticky and your workspace is all clean. All right, that's what it should look like. Now you're gonna put your dough into your greased bowl and let it rest for about an hour and a half. In the meantime, let's prepare our cinnamon mixture. So in a bowl, we will add our butter, our sugar and molasses, and our cinnamon. I like using white sugar and molasses instead of uh, brown sugar. That way I don't have to buy two types of sugar and it saves me money. So let's mix, mix, mix. And then once that is ready, we'll get back to our dough. Now let's punch this bad boy, put him on our workspace. Don't forget to add some flour so it doesn't stick. And now let's roll it out into a nice big rectangle. Now let's spread our cinnamon mixture evenly onto our dough and then we'll roll it into a log. Roll the dough towards you, it's much easier that way. And now it's time to cut into 15 equal portions. I'd say about one and a half inches thick. Now 
And now let's place them in our grease baking dish. We will let them rise until they have doubled in size, which should be about 40 minutes. Now that they are doubled in size, we can cook them at 400 for about 25 minutes. In the meantime, we'll make our icing. In our bowl, we will add our soft and cream cheese and butter, combine them together until there are no more lumps, and then add our vanilla extract. Now let's put our powdered sugar and mix it really well until it's all nice and smooth. Now look at these beautiful rolls, all hot and fresh out the oven. Now here comes the fun part, we can lather them in as much icing as possible. Trust me, less is not more. So I really hope you're gonna try out this recipe, it's really delicious. It's basically like eating a hug, so it's worth every carb, every calorie. And if you're really worried about those kind of things, just go run a mile afterwards. Anyways, if you want the written recipe, you can go directly on my blog. The link is going to be in the description. So, have a nice day, everyone.